Hey there, and thanks for clicking on my video. In this one, we're going to get into how to create a profile view and also how to create a design profile view to go into a corridor. So we already have our alignment created here, and I'm going to show you the steps needed to create a profile view. It's pretty easy. You click on the Home tab of your ribbon, go to the Profile pull down, Create Surface Profile. That pulls up a wizard that shows you all of the alignments you have in your drawing and all of the surfaces you have in your drawing. I'm going to pick line A because that's this connector line here. And it asks you, do you want to sample the whole alignment? I usually do. Um, that way, if I need to change my profile view later, it'll already all be sampled. I'm going to add in this uh, existing ground. I'm going to check here. This is all of the possible um, settings for that profile inside of the profile view. Um, you want it to be dynamic. Uh, you don't want an offset typically. You want to see along the profile or along the alignment what the profile of the ground is. Um, the style is existing because we're doing existing grade. It shows the begin and the end of the alignment, the elevation minimum and maximum. So after you're done checking all that and making sure you've got what you want, you select Drawn Profile View. That's going to pull up another wizard that will step you through all of the uh, possible additions to your profile. So the station range is the automatic is going to give you the whole station, which in this case we're going to do the whole station because we're going to put a design profile in after the view is created, um, and so that way we can build a corridor after that. So for this prof the next this wizard you want to go through the next profile height the min the minimum height along that alignment is 887 82 the maximum is 899 54 so you want to give yourself a little bit of room above and below so I'll go 865 to 915 we'll see how that looks and you can change it afterwards if uh, if it doesn't look good. Um, so that's that. You want to then hit your next button to go to the next option in the wizard. This is similar to the initial box we looked at. It's showing if this is dynamic. Dynamic means if you move the alignment the profile will update. If you don't want the profile to update you can change that to static. You be it's best to leave it as dynamic. Um, styles existing. We're not going to put any labels on the existing profile grade. You know, it tells you what line you're profiling. So, just general information. Um, data band is what shows up at the bottom of the profile and gives you information as far as elevation to correspond with the station. Um, we're going to go with just existing so that it's already picking up the existing surface. You, when you do using just an existing one, you don't have to worry about profile two because it is not going to show up in the style that we have set. That's a a deeper can of worms because style setup is very important. I'm going to go ahead and hit create and profile view. Find where I want to put the the profile. We'll just put it down here. Take a look, and I've got my existing grade pretty well. Looks pretty good as in terms of above and below. If we're going to uh, do a road profile on here, you want to have a little bit of plus or minus above your existing grade. So that profile corresponds with this alignment. So it's really easy. Um, if you needed to just see the first few hundred feet of that profile, you'll click on the profile. You can either right click and go to profile view properties to edit it or you can click on it and go to profile view properties in your ribbon. It will ask you to select your, I'm sorry, in the ribbon you will want to do uh, this profile view properties. I did profile properties which is the existing profile. So profile view properties, it's going to pull up this box and it you can then go through these tabs at the top to change what you want to change. So if I wanted to change this to just just see from 10 plus 00, zero to 15 plus 50, add that in, hit apply. It's 
going to shorten it down just show you the range that you called for um, but I'm going to open that back up and make it back to the end go back to automatic that way it runs from start to finish and that really is the nuts and bolts of creating a profile view if your style is set up correctly with vertical scale set to be the vertical exaggeration that you want um, everything should come in right if you have an alignment that runs left to right you need to make sure you have a profile view that is set up to run left to right that is controlled in your style underneath the graph there's a right to left option so if you're doing a right to left profile you want to make sure you have a style that sets it up that way um, so there's not much to creating a profile creating a design profile is a little more intricate so I'm gonna step you through that now um, if you click on your profile uh, grid and up in your ribbon there's a profile creation tools button I'm gonna click that uh, it comes with a default name which you can set the default to be several different things by click clicking on this button I like to go with whatever my alignment is I go line A PG because that's going to be the design profile along that alignment and when you're looking for it in your corridor it's easier to, if it's associated with the alignment and if it's a proposed or existing grade since this is going to be a design profile we're going to select the design profile style we will go ahead and go with a complete label set um, this has the grade breaks the line percentage and the crest and sag curves in it so I'm going to go ahead and do that and say OK it pulls up the profile layout tools toolbar for line A PG was, is what we named it um, and here's where you're going to add or take away entities to your design profile so I start out with drawing tangents and we'll start here at 10 plus 0, 0 and this topo that I have is relatively flat not much change so it's not a it's not going to be a hard um, profile to make so I'm going to just kind of toss in some vertical changes here to even this out the profile we're drawing is going through a field so that's why the, the uh, elevation changes aren't very drastic so after you click the points that you're wanting to add in PVI wise it's going to add these labels based on whatever styles you have selected that shows you the grade breaks um, it, it'll put one it'll put a a uh, line percent grade label at the center of each one of those at the center of each line segment and then at each PVI it's going to put a grade break station and elevation kind of let you know what's going on with the stations um, so it's pretty it's pretty straightforward on the initial creation of your design profile uh, since we started with an existing profile we only have existing elevations down here in the band so I will go through real quick how to add that into your band set it's a little confusing a couple steps but it's not terrible um, so you have a bands tab if you if you click on your profile grid and go to the profile view properties whether you go here or up in the ribbon um, and then you click on the bands tab and you're going to need to find a style that has existing and proposed elevation so I'm going to click on this button here that allows me to change the band style so I have proposed elevations and stations I'm going to look at that style to make sure it's what I want I believe it is so it's got an existing grade that's on and a finished grade that is also showing us to be on so that is the one that we will use for major and minor yeah, it's, it's going to have it for both okay had to make sure um, the gap is important 
um, when you're placing a band on a profile. Uh, if you make, you would think it would be zero. So if you make that zero and hit OK, and for the profile one, we're going to sample the existing ground. For profile two, we're going to sample line APG. And again, I I made this gap zero to show the importance of the gap. Um, I'm going to hit apply and OK. You can see the gap put it below the profile. We like to see this most of the time we like to see this up in the profile so to get that to be where we want it you make the gap negative one or however your you know profile might be set up you might have to adjust this gap to push those up into your profile so now you can see we have different numbers so this is your existing this is your proposed and it's reading off of this elevation and this elevation in the profiles so we have a standard design profile here and I'm going to show you how to add vertical curves into your profile. It's really easy and it's easy to change and edit as you need to. So this line stays up as long as you are working on this design profile. So find the arc button, do the pull down, do the fly out and I use free curve parabola. It's the easiest one that I've found and it's pretty uh, user friendly. Um, so you click on the first entity and then click on the second and it's going to ask you the, the, the radius for the curve. So we'll do 75 for this one. And it the um, command stays active as you're going through so you can click again on the first and the second entity. We'll put in a matching 75 here because there's not much room between these two PVIs, 2350 to 25. So that puts in a nice PVI on both of those curves. I'm gonna the command is still active, so I'm gonna go to this last curve and put in a another one just to show you. We'll put in a, a pretty large one. We'll put in a 200 foot radius. So that flattens that curve out with a 200 foot radius, and then I have no more PPIs that need um, curves. So I'm going to hit enter and the command is done. It'll bring you back to that last one you did. Um, once you have curves in your profile, you can manually move around. Um, this has got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on here. So if you want to move this directly up or down, you can turn your snap on and it'll go up or down based on just that plane actually with that one. If you turn your snap off you can move that one all over. These arrows give you the ability to move along the tangent so it'll move vertically in that direction. This one will move vertically in the other tangent so it allows you some flexibility when you're trying to kind of line your PVIs up right. So if you need to Man if you don't want to manually move it to a specific station or elevation you can click on this panorama box up here and it will allow you to go to your PVIs and change. you can change the curve lengths here I don't know if I'm at the first one or not, it looks like I am so this is the first one I'm going to click on this segment and let's change that to a 50 so that shortens that curve up automatically. Um, if you have a specific station that you want that at, you can come to the station box and change that because you like them to be at even stations just for planned clarity. So I move that, hit, type in 23 plus 50, it moves right away to the correct station. If you have an elevation that you need, you can do the same thing, type it in and it will move up along that 23 plus 50 station so we'll make that 893 even moves it up and the labels are updating along with what you're doing um, so you can move your way down the uh, move your way down the alignment the next PVI is at it's already at an even station it's already at an even elevation and it's a 75 foot length curve 
we'll move down here and see where we place this one. So we did not place this one at an even station elevation. So we'll go ahead and click that and move it to 33 plus 25 and make it a 900 even elevation. So that is how you can maneuver your design profile once you have it in your inside of your profile view. Um, you got your labels telling you what the slopes are. Another thing that you can do inside of this panorama box is you can edit the slopes in and out. So the grade end is, is 38 or 0.38. If you wanted that to be less than 2% on the way out, you can make a 1.5 here. And then all of the rest of them will adjust accordingly. So between those two PVIs, it changed to 1.5. And then if you want to change the out, the out of here, we have it now as 0.58. We can make that 1. So it's going to raise everything up according to the, the slope in. And you know, your PVI and all is going to change as well. But that is how to create a profile view and a design profile inside of that profile view with the correct information in the band set below.